love theater. I love the idea that you can transform, become somebody else, and look at life with a completely new perspective. The idea that in that room, at that moment, everyone, regardless of their age, their gender, their race, their color, their religion, comes together. At that moment, we transcend space and time together. original uh, video, original animation. Um, I love using popular culture and using, using what grabs you, you know, like the sounds that move people today. revolution. It's a human and technological revolution. It's conceptual, it's universal, it's beyond words and numbers. It's happening. The natural progression of science and art, finding each other to better touch and define the human experience. to question the possible. We are here to challenge the impossible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. TEDx Pura Vida Joven, hello. My name is Ola. <laughs> My name is Natasha Tsakos. And um, you do not want to meet me in an elevator. <laughs> It's been a challenge having to describe my work when I meet people for the first time. I cannot explain what I do in one way or one thing. I am many ones, I do many things, some of which have no words. Titles are prisons of human potential. What's interesting is, as we start to move exponentially faster, definitions may update themselves by the hour. Our vocabulary may become a real-time algorithmic word bank. Can you imagine having a conversation like that? Where the meaning of words constantly adapts. Hello, my name is Natasha and I am a polyformer, polyformist, polyartist, polyventer, polypractionist, poly shit, turtle. <laughs> so, let's forget about semantics, the codes of conduct, the quos of status, the rules, the business cards. My goal today is to get you naked. <gasps> I've got exactly seven minutes and 34 seconds, so let's get started. Now I know, I know, I know, we do not all welcome the indecent proposal, inhibitions, insecurities, Instagram. <laughs> but why not? Why hide? Let's be blunt. <laughs> It's time we stripped our preconceived notions, ideas, 
ideals and completely pillaged our states of minds in order for us to think freely. No, we don't think really, we think we think. Thinking never thinks, it knows better. It's embedded in our technology. There's a reason for the biomimicry. We, instinct, intuit, imagine. After we get naked, we are going to copulate. We are going to propagate dangerous ideas. I understand you would like to know who you're getting familiar with. You'd like to know my Twitter handle, my age, my hobbies, the name of my cats. My cats, Karen. My DNA, possibly. But why, really? Those points of references do not define who I am, who you are. They're for others, for others to judge, base, compare, what we call relate. Just in relationship to what? Are we the differentials between two people? If so, shrink accordingly, the higher the division. Is that what makes us, us? The subtraction of me from you, you from them, this from that? The extract? No, I don't think I think we think so. <laughs> Fine, if you must know, I come from a traditional theater conservatory. I was classically trained as an actor where my career would have consisted of learning somebody else's lines and replaying them like a mobile, docile, self-consumed humanoid and feeling very good about myself, maybe. But I got a little tired of the redundancy. I find that theater, like other disciplines, keep playing the same track on repeat. If you're lucky, you get a remix or a mashup. But I wanted to DJ my own ideas and theories. I decided I'd create the shows that I would want to see. I didn't know what I was doing and I still don't. All I knew is that I'd give myself permission to imagine anything and reverse engineer my way from there. Shortly after producing my first show, a world opened its doors to me. And it wasn't theater. It was the entrepreneurial science and tech world. And I think the reason why is because by nature those worlds have to be opened and flexible in order to keep up. I love being in dynamic environments and meeting people who have nothing to do with what you do because they bring foreign bits of information that spark synapses and open new pathways in the understanding process. New pathways of understanding. And that is the orgasmic moment in the creative process when all those dots connect and surprise you in completely unexpected ways. Yes, I love theater. I am passionate about telling original stories in unpredictable ways from original points of views. About exploration. Theater is a voyage into the archives of the human imagination. It's a passport to all what-ifs. What if there was a play called Gossip, whereby using face recognition software and your Facebook data, actors on stage would talk about everybody in the audience. The new smart comedy hit. What if a show responded in real time to global data, making the live performance uniquely different every night. What if the next generation of performers had digital enhancements, augmented voices, music synthesizer, chip implants? I want one! What if the actors could shapeshift before your very eyes? What if the audience could manipulate objects on stage from their seats? And at this point, who is performing? Where is the show really happening? Is it still theater? What do we call it? Oh my God, and here we go, back in the elevator. The premise of evolution has never been about what we know, but about what we do not know all the things we do not know. 
It's about running wild in a field of exclamation points, chasing question marks. It's about curiosity, freedom, daring to question, daring to be completely crazy in the face of normalcy, because it now seems that nonsense is the only sensible recourse to remedy the nonsense of society's accepted normalcy. I don't think I understood this either. So, let's have wild, unprotected, uncensored ideas. Let's get mad. Come on, everybody, let's get mad. Get up. I want everybody to get up right now. Come on, everybody, get up. Come on. Come on, everybody. Everybody, get up. Get out of your seat right now. Everybody, get mad. Let's get mad right now. I'm so sorry. Did I crush you? All right. Great. I want everybody to say, I am mad as hell. I am mad as hell, Leon. I am mad as hell. Let's talk about open sourcing our dreams, wireless brain technology, what animal parts you might want in your body. Who are you going to be? Who are you going to be? A data illusionist? A nanotherapist? A techno theorist? There are no rules anymore. We are writing the codes as we speak. We can be anything we want to be. The rest is writable, applicable. It's data choreography, administrative upkeep of our own demise. We are the flesh slaves of our brain waves. A supercomputer about to be infinitely more powerful than ever. What are we going to feed it? Notifications? Updates? Emojis? Angry birds? Imagination? Nicolas Negroponte predicts the advent of pill technology. Swallow a pill to learn Spanish. Take the blue one to read Shakespeare. Heart to stomach. Education never tasted so good. We are literally entering a synesthetic era of functionality. Plug your headphones into a wall to taste an orange. That's what. Welcome to the 21st century. We are not here to question the possible. We are here to challenge the impossible. I dare you to create your future. I dare you to be extraordinary. I dare you to be you. Let's be contagiously creative. Let's be blunt. Let's be mad. And let's get naked now. <laughs> <laughs>